Hi everyone, welcome to my beautiful bush kitchen. I'm down in the southwest in the Margaret River region this time, um, actually on a fa family farm. So uh, it's just wonderful to be home and in the bush again. Got a great recipe to share with you today. It is called spicy meatloaf. Okay, ingredients for spicy meatloaf is 500 grams of beef mince, one onion finely diced, one carrot grated, half a cup of quick oats, a quarter of a cup of tomato sauce, one egg, one half a teaspoon of crushed garlic, a half a packet of French onion soup mix, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And we also need three or four rashes of bacon. So when it comes to making meatloaf, there is no other alternative. You just have to get your hands in there and get them a bit dirty. Now you can use a spoon if you really have to, but a nice big mixing bowl and your two hands is really all you need. So it's just a matter of putting all of your ingredients into your big mixing bowl and then giving it all a good old squish and a bit of a massage around. So let's get started putting all our stuff together. So we just need to put all of our ingredients into our bowl uh, and then mix them all together. So just massage them around um, and just allow it to stand for a few minutes just to let the oats absorb the moisture. Then you need to line a loaf tin or a silicon loaf pan with bacon rashes and then pack the meat mixture uh, firmly in. Cover it with a layer of foil and cook on a low trivet or no trivet inside your camp oven with the coals scraped to the edges for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, it's been just over an hour and I did come and peek and I put, took the foil off the top. So we've now got a lovely little meatloaf inside of our tin. Okay, so that's it. Beautiful little meatloaf. Now you can let that stand for a little while and let it sort of firm up a bit, but you can tuck into it straight away. It's delicious with hot vegetables, with salad. You can even slice it up and stick it in sandwiches. Perfect 